Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Right now, this is an empty lot of land with some empty buildings, but by next month, this place will be filled with thousands upon thousands of people and vendors for one of the region's largest and longest running fairs. Below the shady oak trees is a fair with strong community roots. The West End Fair in Monroe County has that classic hometown feel. I've been here since I was born. I mean, I've been running around this fair, and a lot of us have that in our, I want to say in our blood, and I think a lot of our community is the same. Agriculture, the backbone of the West End, is on full display as local farmers proudly show off their livestock. People living in the city, they, they don't see animals like this here, so it's a, it's a way they can get one-on-one -on -one close up encounters with, with cows and chickens and, you know, horses. More than 200 vendors will be here, excited to set up shop. I think probably, in my opinion, this year is going to probably be the, the, the largest attended fair that ever has been. Many nonprofits serve up delicious homemade food. So when you're coming out here, uh, you're, you're actually helping a lot of local organizations as well. Browse different buildings to see local entries in various exhibits, like photography, fruits, flowers, and crafts. We do great things in Monroe County, and you know we grow great things and we make great things. So bring them, enter them in the fair. Stop by the arena for demolition derbies, truck pulls, and other larger than life events. If you want to come in and see cars smash into each other and hear things being torn apart and banged around, and you can can see that. And of course, don't forget the rides. There's something for everybody from, as you said, from 5 to 85, no problems. You can come out here and enjoy yourself. The West End Fair began in 1920 as a way for locals to show off their lumber, fruits, vegetables, and other harvests. And it was a one-day fair. People got together and ate and had fun and, you know, did lots of things that we do now. The fair should be celebrating its 100th anniversary, but after canceling last summer due to COVID, that big milestone will have to wait another year. We're really excited. Um, you know, we just want want to continue growing and keep doing what we're what we love doing. The West End Fair blasts off August 22nd through 28th. This is one of the few places where you can come out and get so much for so little. And before heading out to the West End Fair, don't forget about the Carbon County Fair happening a bit earlier in August. And you cannot beat this scenic view for some family friendly fun. Right now, it doesn't look like much here, but uh, this place will be a hustle and a bustle. Fair week. Come for the thrills. You got me, he's good and test your skills at the Carbon County Fair, August 9th through 14th. We expect to have a great turnout this year. We will have more vendors than we've ever had. A lumberjack show, tractor pools, and demolition derbies are among the fan favorites. Demolition derby fans are hardcore. They will sit through rain, sleet, or snow. Opening night ends with a bang. We like to think we have the best fireworks in the county, and they're shot right down in the valley there. And be, since we're between two mountains here, it echoes like crazy. <laughs> it's a great show. The Carbon County Fair off Little Gap Road in Palmerton started in the year 2000. This summer especially, organizers believe the 30 plus acres of open space will work in the fair's favor. People are tired of of being in, trapped inside. And as you can see, we're in the great outdoors here. We got great air. According to the Pennsylvania State Association of County Fairs, this year's theme is making memories one fair at a time. Memories to last a lifetime. For Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below to be 
be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.